Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Good King Butch, my Let's Play Crusader Kings 3. Um, so on our last episode, we had to abandon our conquest of this um, chiefdom here. Or sorry, it's a barony apparently. That's a chiefdom, I was right. Um, because the counter invasion sacked our... Um, capital and in the process <laughs> took our poor child hostage our only uh, our only heir so um, yeah very important <laughs> that uh, he not die um, Let's uh, set our child's Gandalf Caramano here. Uh, his what his focus is going to be. Charming children also often do well with an intrigue education. I don't think that's as an. Hmm. I think having him good at diplomacy would be helpful. I really want somebody who's good at martial, but um, that's against his nature, though. So let's make him a good diplomat. Let's change his focus. So he's studying in his tender age of three the art of diplomacy. We're getting him started early. Um, so. We don't have money right now, um, which is bad. Um, we lost a battle, which was bad for our prestige. So, what I forgot to realize, however, is that Good King Butch is a tribal government. So what does that mean? So, basically, uh, we can develop in owned counties. Development in owned counties is ignored. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, but whatever. This is the more important one. Allows the raiding of foreign counties for loot. <clears throat> and also, we can use prestige. Uh, I gotta bring that back up. Sorry. Uh, here. Um, <clears throat> we can use prestige rather than gold to build their realms and hire men at arms. Which is huge. Um, so... First of all, let's just take a look and see if we can build some men at arms here. Yeah, that uses prestige. That's awesome. Um, I've been told that bowmen basically are really good. Um, however, who are these guys? They counter skirmishers. Yeah, apparently, like the AI likes to buy skirmishers a lot. Um, so, what's the difference between a Metzenvarcha and a Bowman? Let's see. They're more expensive. But their damage is a little bit stronger. Um, sure. Let's spend the last of our prestige here. There we go. So we got five archers. And we used our prestige to do so. Can we? And, but it costs prestige to maintain. That's the other thing, too. So... We're gonna have to gain some prestige. So how are we gonna do all these things? Well, we're gonna take time along here, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start raiding because we need to get money, it will give us prestige. We can start building up a little bit stronger of an army. We can weaken our allies and then we can start reconquesting. So we're gonna continue to do that. Now, the other thing is, Good King Butch is quick and hail. Um, These are important traits that we really want to pass down to future generations. 
So. We need to fecund. Ooh, fraternity plus 50. We're going to take some concubines. <laughs> our priest and our spy master. Chance of children, very high. And they'll be born into House Caramano, and they have a chance of getting one of these three amazing traits. So, yes, sorry, Elizabeth. You're going to have to be my woman. And then this one. That's okay, we're just going to take one concubine for now. He's got a side piece, King Butch. <laughs> Listen, it's for the future of the realm, okay? So, I think once we... Is it going to cost money to raise our raiders? Let's see. Let's check our military tab here. Oops. The weakness that has plagued my son since his birth has finally released his hold on him. Relief watches over me as I see Gandalf running around with other children. May you grow strong, Gandalf. May you grow strong indeed. Wow. High Chief Sister Brow is... God, she is amazing and intrigue. It's just... Uh, we're underutilizing intrigue. But for now, I think what we should be doing... Actually, I was thinking... Nah, it's alright. We'll keep her... Keep her close. We have to, we have to, we can't raise our army until our total soldiers increase. Yeah, see, so, um, because we got walloped in the last war, you have to wait for them to kind of retrain and renumber themselves. So once the, um, yeah, up here they have it. So once our, um, armies are able to be raised at full strength, we're going to go start raiding, and we're going to start making some money. We have a powerful vassal. Hey, he's out. Um, You're not really good, though. But you're our only vassal, so you have to be on the council. I can put you in, like, a dumb position. No. Sorry, Susie. <laughs> You're not great, friend, but you'll have to do. All right. I think we want to take foreign affairs so we can get our prestige up a little bit. And we can potentially shorten a truce, so that's good. Yeah, because the vassal opinion is not that helpful for us right now because we only have one vassal. So, yeah, I'm going to have to focus on foreign affairs. I think that's better. We're still collecting taxes. Um, we could start fabricating a claim on a county. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, suggested action raid. Definitely. I agree. Um, let's have you fabricate a claim. 100% chance. Ooh, we have a chance of getting a claim on the duchy too, which is good. Oh, we can do it to our own. <laughs> oh, wow. So we could fabricate a claim on our own holding. Uh, something to consider. We'll have to do that in the future. Right now we need to start growing, so. We're going to fabricate a claim on the county of Vipuri. All right, so we're moving now. Once we get into the positives here, and once we get our total soldiers up, uh, we're gonna start raiding. The other thing we should consider doing is increasing our defenses in our capital. So, uh-oh. By Uko, this party is boring. Kareen has got to be the worst host the world has ever seen. How can a mortal man be expected to endure the snoring celebration of mediocrity? My eyes cast about the room, looking for a diversion, any diversion. Siemowit gives me a friendly wave from a nearby jockney. I've got to do something to stop this evening from dragon. 
Oh, that's my, uh, my buddy. Perhaps I can get to know Siemowit better? I guess I'll just make the best of things. Kareen, you are a terrible host. Yeah, let me get to know Siemowit better, because he's our closest ally, and he is my father-in-law. Also, at the same time, the first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's notice, but my steward K Kedu has grown bolder. He challenges no longer pass unnoticed at the council table. He is testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Hmm. I'll take the five opinion hit for the ten dread. Give me that. Hey, good. We got friends. We became friends with the High Chieftain. That's excellent. There's a war. Who are these guys? Chieftain Mielis of. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy here. Okay, versus this guy. These two guys are warring right now. That's good. We might be able to swoop in. In fact, it might be a really great time to swoop in. Uh, restraint. Restraint. Don't have troops. Don't have money. Restraint. We're in this little long haul. We got to spread our genes. Can let time take up a little bit. We got a hundred men now. In debt. Our levies are decreased for ten years. Oh, that's painful. And we got bandits running rampant, which is taxes and development growth, because we're in debt. That's bad. Debt is bad. Do not get in debt, guys. We're, we'll fix that. It won't, it won't happen again. <clears throat> We might be warring for a while. I don't know. It feels like it would be a really good time to invade. There is a border between our two. How's the strength? Vastly inferior to ours. And he doesn't have any. Yeah, we're going to do this, I think. I think this is a golden opportunity we can't miss. Come on, come on, come on, speed up. Uh, lackluster administration. Levy reinforcement rate minus 50. We're losing a lot of freaking levies because of us being in debt, so we really need to make some money. Is this going to be dumb? How's our ally doing? We should use him while we got him. It looks like our other truce ended, by the way, so we can fight these guys if we wanted to. It might make more sense. Um, yeah, he's got a great army. He doesn't seem to be doing much, though, but... All right, well. Hey, our wife's pregnant, that's good. A warrior wounded in training. Neighbor's war resolved, ah, we had a chance. Oh, they won. Yeah. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to offer this guy, because he just lost the war. Offer vassalage.
Hmm. His opinion of me is poor. It's close. He might accept. I am as a Jor vassal. Our military strength needs to be stronger. Hmm. Anyway, let's take a lifestyle perk here. Foreign Affairs Effectiveness, 25%. That's great, because Foreign Affairs is giving us prestige. So we're going to take that. If you guys remember, Foreign Affairs is this. The prestige, yeah. So that went up from 0.5 to 0.75, I think. That's good. Um, we can't bribe him. We don't have any money. Hmm. He's weak. Now is the time to take him. But this guy definitely got stronger. I don't like that. We need to consolidate rule quickly. Hey. We have a claim. 81 gold. Ugh, I can't do it right now. Can't afford the gold. Sorry. That's, that's a waste. All right. I know what I'm doing, Vato. It has come to my attention that your Noadi, Kuka, is working to fabricate a spurious claim on the chieftain of Vipuri over here. I implore you to remember that you are high chieftain by right, not by greed. Oh, you have a you have a conscience, eh? I know what I'm doing. So maybe I should have her do something else. Yeah, let's focus on religious. Rate. We can't afford it right now, anyway. That was foolish. All right, well, we need we need to at least get this guy in our fold. So we need to get money from him. So let's do that by we need to get money in order to give him so he would be friends. So he becomes our lead, becomes our vassal. Um, so what we're gonna do is. We're going to raise our armies. Six hundred. Okay. Now, we're going to start them raiding. Raiding loot zero. Zero, 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 three. Zero, zero, fifteen. Zero, fifteen. Here, right here. It's going to take four months to do so. All right, let's see if they can do it. So that's our plan. We're going to raid for money. Oh, are they warring again? He's going for that land. No, he's just being raided. Okay, that's fine. Because I was going to say, if he, if he loses that land... Praise Lempo, Dobra has given birth to a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? How about Pasquale? May you grow strong and wise, son. We have a son. We have two sons now. Oh, uh, look at the luscious head of hair on young Gandalf. It's amazing. All right. Uh... I don't think our son Pasquale inherited anything. He had three options to inherit something. Oh, come on. You're already disappointing. Just fresh out of the womb. <laughs> uh oh, they're going to fight, but we can win. We're in a fight right now. Apparently, raiders can't run, I've heard. Oh, yeah, we just, we just walloped them. Get out of here. We're going to continue raiding. Thank you. Great. So here's our raiders. Our first raiders of Oliva. We have 15 of 49 loot. Here's another 15. And it's right next door. So we're raiding the coast of Sweden right now. Uh, another army. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. I think we're going to get wiped. We're going to get wiped. 
Come on, boys. Come on, boys. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, boys. You can do it. I didn't do it. Do we still have money? Nope, they took our money. Sons of bitches. <sighs> well, we got more prestige, so we can buy more men at arms at least. In fact, can I do that right now? Yeah. It didn't work out. Uh, very annoying. We're getting smushed. We need more military strength. So I think we should spend more prestige. We need to get our military strength up quickly. Another hundred. Can we afford it? It's close, but yeah. Will you accept our vassalage? He will not accept yet. This asshole's raiding us now. Ugh. Don't take our child. I think I need a separate rally point. They're still going to get it in time. Susie, not Susie. Ah, oh, those bastards. Are they coming again? I don't think this is worth it. Let's let them raid us, I guess. Uh Disband, disband. No. Fight. This is your homeland. We're gonna lose. Chances are even. They're recently disembarked. We'll probably win. Higher quality, more men at arms. Let's do it. Get him! Oh, tough fight, tough fight, tough fight, tough fight. Oh my gosh, this is a tough fight. Yet again, Veli is late for a council meeting. This time, I will not let it pass. When I arrive at Veli's chambers, I do not give him the courtesy of knocking. Veli is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon his face. Hmm. I have a 100% chance of winning this intrigue challenge when I find out if what he's hiding. I'm going to take it. <laughs> the, as I rummage through his things, Veli sleeps like a babe. The sedative I put in his spiced wine sure did this trick. Within minutes, I have found the piece of parchment he hid from me. I skim the level letter, horrified. It is a, it is a convincing accusation, claiming Veli is a sexual deviant. 
written proof. How considerate. I learn of a secret. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is so bravely fought. A feast. Uh, sure. <laughs> Great time for a feast, guys. Veli was just wounded by an enemy soldier anyway. Oh my god, guys, come on. Yes, he is very... There's nothing that can be done. This is like the most intense battle right now, and like, I keep getting pop-ups. It's so annoying. The feast is dwindling down, and I find myself deep in conversation with my faithful Chancellor, Chieftain Voito. He inquires about my opinion on a court alliance, a subject he is deep, deeply interested in himself. I am more interested in you. I'm just making sure. Is this... Yes, he becomes my friend, please. Ah, uh, we almost won. That was tough. <laughs> Had interesting conversation for 10 years. What does that do? Diplomacy plus one and learning plus one. That's pretty good. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my friend Chieftain Vito goes on and on about court alliances. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? No, no, please, do go on. Ugh, man. So annoying. <laughs> okay, great, thank you. <sighs> well... We fought valiantly, but we still lost. My concubine is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she has been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. I would not put a pastor to bear someone a child simply to torture me. She must tell me. I will look into this discreetly. Why should I worry? I must be the father, surely. <laughs> hmm. 77% chance. But a 22% chance of her losing opinion of me. Yeah, whatever. Alright, well. Let's disband all of our shoulders. Let our levies build back up. Even though our levies are very poor right now. <gasps> My friend! Everyone will know of your infidelity. A bastard child. <clears throat> Oops, seems you've got a bastard child. This could be a threat or an opportunity. <laughs> Having bastard children is not all bad. They can be married away for alliances. While not being a direct threat to your succession, they're not considered legitimate. It might even be a good idea to keep a few bastard children around so they can be legitimized should you find yourself short of non-bastard children. However, remember to keep an eye on the opinion of your spouse has of you. If you want to have a bastard children, we recommend that you use a seduction sheet on unmarried characters. If you seduce a married woman, her husband might think the child is his. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Anyway. Um. <clears throat> well. Will you take it, please? Ugh. Who do you want to be? You're an independent king. You're surrounded by three competently strong comp countries. Like, just... And you're part of our historical dukedom, so just accept it. Ugh. All right, we're going to have to stop it here. That was a failed rating attempt, unfortunately. Um... And uh, it's already 30 minutes into this episode. Um, so next time, I don't know, I hope to continue to try to raid. We were doing well until everybody died. <laughs> um, and we are going to... Can 
Can I fire her? I can't dismiss her. Anyway, yeah. Dismiss. He's... No, I don't know yet. Anyway, I'll think about it. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.